With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, the question is solve the given differential equation. So we are given differential equation which is cos square x into dy by dx plus y is equals to tan x. So divide this entire equation by cos square x. So what we get is dy by dx plus y by cos square x is equals to tan x by cos square x. Now we know that cos is 1 upon cos x is equals to sec x. Okay. So this will become dy by dx plus secant square x into y is equals to tan x into secant square x. Now this is a linear differential equation which is of the form dy by dx plus py is equals to q. Okay, so on comparing we get the value of p here as secant square x and the value of q as tan x into secant square x. So firstly for solving such linear differential equation firstly we will find the integrating factor which is equals to e raised to the power integral of p dx. So the value of p here is secant square x dx and we know that integration of secant square x dx is tan x. So we get the integrating factor as e raised to the power of tan x. Yeah. Now the solution of such linear differential equation when we have y as dependent variable. So this is of the form y multiplied by integrating factor is equals to integral of q multiplied by integrating factor times dx plus some constant c. So now just simply put the values here. So we get y into e raised to the power of tan x is equals to integral of value of q is tan x into secant square x into integrating factor is e raised to the power tan x dx plus this constant c. Okay, so now for solving this given integral, what I'll do is just put tan x is equals to t. Now differentiate both these sides. So differentiation of tan x is secant square x dx is equals to dt. Okay, so now this entire equation, this will change to y into e raised to the power tan x is equals to integral of tan uh, secant square x uh, dx. This will become dt and again tan x will become t into e raised to the power t plus we will have some constant c. Okay, so now easily we can solve this integration by using integration by parts. So let's say this is our function first and this is our function number 2. Okay, so now we are going to use integration by parts here. So this will become y into e raised to the power tan x is equals to using integration by part. So first as it is into integration of e raised to the power t will be e raised to the power t minus integration of differentiation of t will be 1 into integration of second function which will be again e raised to the power t dt plus constant c. Okay, so this will become y into e raised to the power tan x is equals to t into e raised to the power t minus again integral of e raised to the power t dt will be e raised to the power t plus constant c okay so this will become y into e raised to the power tan x is equals to take e raised to the power t common so inside bracket we have t minus 1 plus constant c now again put the value of t as tan x so we get y into e raised to the power tan x is equals to e raised to the power tan x into tan x minus 1 plus constant c. Now divide the entire equation by tan x. So we get y is equals to by e raised to the power tan x. Okay, so we get y is equals to tan x minus 1 plus c into e raised to the power of minus tan x. Yeah, so this is the required solution of the given differential equation. Thanks for watching. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.